So as you guys know, with this ongoing coronavirus pandemic, there's a shortage, a huge shortage of medical supplies and equipment and protective gear in the United States. The whole planet is having shortages, but in the US, I mean, pure corruption. I mean, it's, it's evil what I'm about to show you. The solution that they've adopted now is, okay, let's import all of these masks and medical equipment that we need from China. China. Okay. <laughs> Who did Donald Trump put in charge of this odious task? None other than his son-in-law, Jared Kushner. Hooray nepotism. And then, and then they talk about African and Arab countries. So this guy, a few months ago, he screws over Palestinians by giving away land that isn't even his to the illegal occupation by the Zionists. And now he's screwing over Americans by giving away the medical equipment that you need to private corporations who then sell it to the highest bidder. So he's organized about 20, 30 flights going from Shanghai to JFK, bringing this medical equipment. So you actually, the taxpayer, your taxpayer dollars bought this equipment and paid for these flights. Now, what do you think happens with this medical equipment when it gets to the United States, when it gets to JFK? It's going to private corporations. Yes. What the fuck? Why? So you had a reporter from the Washington Post asking an admiral, where is this medical equipment going? Is it going to hospitals, to the states that need it? Or is it going to private corporations? And look at how he dodges the question because he can't give her a straight answer. From governors, we, we so aren't saying they can't get the medical equipment that they need. And the reason for that is because according to governors, and also by the fact that we haven't seen any numbers up there about what is going to the private sector, can you tell us what percentage of the supplies on these large cargo planes are going to private companies versus FEMA, versus the so, state? So FEMA is 80 percent? So, uh, this product that we're moving is primarily a uh, commercial product that would enter the commercial system and be distributed through uh, financial business transactions between hospitals and these distributors. So just to clarify, that's, that explains why states say they're bidding like they're on eBay, because the supplies are going to the private sector, and then they have to go there to get the supplies. That's, uh, that's, normally, how things, uh, that's normally how things work, right? So I'm, I'm not here to disrupt uh, uh, a, a supply chain. Say, so look, these, these six distributors, six, seven, they have six to 700 warehouses. They have trucks to go to the hospital door every day. We're bringing product in. They're filling orders for hospitals, nursing homes, like normal. I'm putting volume into that system. I would say that, that we're, we have the data now last. So we put together this uh, data element over the last, you know, what, 13 days? Get the people in, look at the problem, build this. I am now seeing truth about what's in the supply chain. And I would say that um, there's been some abnormal behavior. Okay? Yes, the, uh, thank you, April. Abnormal behavior. What? She's asking him a very good question. She said these cargo planes that are coming from China with all this medical equipment. Where is the majority, where is the bulk of that equipment going? To the hospitals? To, to the states who need it? Or to private companies? And he didn't want to answer. You know why. They're giving it to a few corporations who are then selling the masks, the gowns, the ventilators, all of the medical equipment to the highest bidder. Yeah. They're, they're running auctions between states. There are states competing for medical equipment, and you ain't even heard the worst of it yet. You ain't even heard the worst of it. Let me read the paragraph to you that is going to blow your fucking mind. The buyers from state government purchasing departments and hospital systems representing facilities throughout the Northeast, Midwest, and California expressed desperation for masks to protect their healthcare workers, but in the end, not a single deal was completed with any of these groups, and millions of masks were earmarked to leave the country purchased by foreign buyers. <laughs> it's not just a question of survival of the fittest, dog-eat-dog, dog, 
you know, we'll give it to the highest bidder. I don't know. We'll give it to the highest bidder, even if they're in another country. Because we, the corporations, we don't give a fuck about American lives. We care about money. And if the money comes from you, or the money comes from them, it don't fucking matter. Because we fill our pockets. Fuck you. You have governors, right this very minute, asking, where are my fucking masks? You told me you were going to send me medical supplies. Where are they? Now you, you guys know where they are. They're probably in another country, even though they were already delivered to the US at JFK. But, you know, a bigger capitalist, a bigger fish, bought them out. So, you know, too bad. Your nurse says they're probably going to die. Some patients. Doesn't matter. Money is always first. Not you. So then Jared Kushner, he goes on television and tells people that the strategic national stockpile is not meant for federal states to use, even though that's a flat out lie. And you have in instances where in cities they're running out, but the state still has a stockpile. And the notion of the federal stockpile was it's supposed to be our stockpile. It's not supposed to be state stockpiles that they then use. So we're encouraging the states to make sure that they're assessing the needs. They're getting the data from their local uh, s local uh, situations and then trying to fill it with the supplies that we've given them. The same thing with the mask. So the N90. He's trying to tell you that, look, uh, the states, they got their own stockpile, but our stockpile, the federal one, no, you can't have that. That's, that's not for you guys. That's, that's for us. What? No, wrong. Wrong. Completely wrong. Right after he said this, Jared Kushner, the next day, they changed the writing on the website so that it looks like he didn't contradict himself. Unbelievable. Like, th this is some <laughs> Stalin-esque kind of work. So this is how the website looked before, okay? When state, local, tribal, and territorial responders request federal assistance to support their response efforts, the stockpile ensures that the right medicines and supplies get to those who need them the most during an emergency. All right? That's what it looked like. And then as soon as he messed up, the next day, they changed the website and removed that part. Where's the part about helping state, local, tribal, and territorial responders? Oh, it's gone. Magic. From one day to the next. You know how they talk about North Korea censoring things? I mean, what is this? Dude, it, it's, it's not even that big of a gaffe. Just apologize and give people some fucking masks. Now, that is if you have any. Because what I think happened is Mr. Jared Kushner, he let the truth slip out, okay? He had a little Freudian slip, right? Because he's been having such a big fucking boner every day about all this money he's making, the nice cuts that he's been getting from his friends in the private sector who are now taking all this medical equipment and selling it, even outside the United States, that he couldn't think properly and it came out. He said the quiet part out loud. He told them the truth that this federal stockpile, you thought it's for you, but it ain't. It ain't for you because I control it now and I'm making some nice fat wads of cash behind your backs. You, the taxpayer, you're buying masks, gowns, respirators the first time from China, right? This is your first bill. So you've already paid for them. They belong to you. FEMA flies them over to JFK, but, but now all of a sudden they don't belong to you anymore. What? Oh no, because Jared Kushner is giving them away to private corporations. And then you have states bidding between each other, and how do you think they pay for that medical equipment? Oh, another, another bill with your fucking money. So you're paying twice, you're paying twice for the same thing. Just so Jared Kushner and his friends in these little companies can rip you off and make a buck. I mean, th this is evil. This is really evil. The lengths that they go to to make money during a pandemic. It's like they just don't care. Any sensible, civilized nation, any civilized society would have nationalized the entire healthcare industry. Mm -hmm. Especially during a pandemic. I mean, how morally bankrupt are you? To be doing stuff like this. It's astonishing. It really is. They changed the website to say that, oh, the federal stockpile of masks and medical equipment is not accessible to states and uh, other localities. And then 
one of the reporters asked Donald Trump about that, and he lost it. Said the notion of the federal stockpile was it's supposed to be our stockpile. It's not supposed to be state stockpiles that they then use. What did he mean by our? Oh, what are you asking? And I mean, yeah. even the fact that taxpayers from What's every that? state What's that? Gotcha. I gotcha. No, it's not gotcha. Our. You, our you know what our means? United States of America. That's what it means. It means the states. Our. Our. It means the United States of America. And then we take that our and we distribute it to the states. So why did you not say that we it's have not to. supposed to be state stockpiles that they then Because use. we need it for the government and we need it for the federal government. But to when the states, the states are in no, to then also who keep. Giving it to if it's not to the states. To keep, to keep for our country because the federal government needs it too, not just the states. But out of that, we oftentimes choose, as an example, we have almost 10,000 ventilators, and we are ready to rock with those ventilators. We're going to bring them to various areas of the country that need them. But when he says our, he's talking about our country. He he's talking, excuse me, sir, he's talking about the federal government. I mean, it's such a basic, simple question, and you try and make it sound so bad. You ought to be, I, you ought to be ashamed to of yourself. No, you know what? You ought to be ashamed. Way, it's such Azar. a simple question. He said our. An hour means for the country. An hour it's means for the states, states because the states are a part of the country. Don't make it sound bad. Don't make it sound bad. Go ahead, Steve. Go ahead, back here. You just ask your question. You just ask your question in a very nasty tone. Let's go. You didn't give me an answer. Please. Mr. President, I gave you a perfect answer. You know it. Go ahead. I don't like your tone. <laughs> Going back to what I said before. One thing that I suspect is that they don't have any. Their federal stockpile is empty because, you know, they're receiving all of this stuff from China and then immediately it's being sold off. I don't know. I think that's one, one theory. Also, I love how he gives like a, a geographical, you know, historical lesson. We're a lot of states and together we make a country. And it sounds like a fucking second grader. <laughs> the shipment from China that arrived in New York on Sunday is the product of a public-private partnership which, in other words, means a racketeering effort. The mafia doing its thing, right? <laughs> Led by President Trump's son-in-law and senior advisor, Jared Kushner, with major healthcare distributors like McKesson Corporation, Cardinal Health, Owens & Minor, Medline & Henry Schein. These are the companies ripping you off with Jared Kushner, okay? So he's included them in his little racketeering effort, and they're swindling much needed medical equipment and they're killing medical staff and patients and putting the public's safety at risk just so they can make a buck usually what happens is the national guard uh the police the army they take care of this shit i mean you have 800 fucking military bases all across the planet you have 20 aircraft carriers you don't need anyone else this is bullshit this is oh you know we're just going to do this uh, behind the scenes and make some money Companies like GM, Ford, and others have stepped forward to try making these products for the first time, but they may need weeks or months before newly built facilities can ramp up their production. That, that essentially means, um, listen, we're going to wait uh, and see if you give us any taxpayer money to build those facilities and then make your masks. Otherwise, we're not doing it. It's not coming out of our pockets. To come here and tell me that the richest country in history with the most powerful army and logistical network in the world, in history, they can't make some masks and respirators? Are you fucking kidding me? Don't tell me that the United States lacks the intellectual capital and the resources and finances to get this done. No. The reason it's not being done is because it wasn't the most profitable way to do it. Do you understand? Once again, we come back to the same fucking conclusion. The profit the money drives the capitalists okay not your health not a pandemic if it's not profitable fuck you that's it there's one person writing for forbes he went where they're making all of these calls and selling off these masks behind the scenes to foreign buyers or when you're having states bidding with each other or private actors it's disgusting. It really is. I mean, this... And look what he says here. So, millions of masks are being purchased by foreign buyers and are leaving the country, according to the brokers, while the domestic need remains alarmingly high. 
and I watched that happen repeatedly throughout the day, buyers from state procurement departments and hospital systems expressed desperate need for masks, but the deals bogged down when it came to providing proof that they could commit and follow through. In the meantime, another buyer provided proof of funds and the masks were gone, sometimes within the hour. So really, you know, really a first come first serve system, absolutely ruthless. You know, you don't want to give people health care. You don't want to give them a living wage. You don't want to give them a Green New Deal. You don't want to stop bombing the fucking Middle East. You don't want to stop putting blacks in jail. Do you really have to make money with the fucking masks as well? You know, masks that are worth three dollars, nine dollars. I mean, how fucking low do you have to stoop, you fucking cocksuckers? When is it enough? How fucking low can you stoop? In, in the middle of a fucking pandemic, your country has more cases than anyone. You already fucked up. No one is even putting you on the hook. No one is even questioning you. A reporter asks you an asked question, you just shut them down. You do what you like. And you still gotta fuck people over, you gotta make... Six bucks on, on a fucking mask, a piece of fucking plastic? Capitalism? Th this is your alternative to socialism? Oh, socialism kills, and this doesn't. What is this? I can't reason. I can't reason with someone who thinks that this is acceptable. This is why you need to nationalize public utilities. Because even in a fucking pandemic, in a crisis, there's no limits. You, you can't trust the capitalists to leave you the fuck alone, to help you out, you know, in, in the worst of times. There's no solidarity. Corruption, greed, racketeering, right out there in the open, even during a pandemic. Just, they don't know any limits. Always about the money.